with so many diet options out there, how do you choose the right one? Hi, I'm Maureen Russell Hodson, and this is Springboro here and there. We are here at Miami Valley Hospital South, along with Dr. Aloya Earl. Hi, Dr. Earl. Hi. So we're excited because you're gonna help us sort all this stuff out, but she's gonna do that at our speaker series. You are our very first speaker at the Performing Arts Center, and you're gonna be discussing these topics. Correct. So when we talk about, you're gonna talk about diets and fads, mm -hmm. give us an idea of what the topic will be about. So the topic is just in general about nutrition and how to eat better, to feel your best self, and to set yourself up for the best healthy future. And I'm going to cover some of the most common fad diets that everybody's trying right now and go over some pros and cons of each of those, but then just give like real practical tips on how you can sort through all this nutrition information that we have and how to just eat better that's sustainable long term because it is very confusing and we're yes. glad that we need a professional to help us sort it out. And so we invite all of you because it will happen on Wednesday, March 11th, it's at 6.30. And again, it's at the Performing Arts Center in Springboro at the Premier Health Theater. So we're very delighted that you'll be our first speaker. I'm so excited. Let's give people a little idea of what to expect because we talk about all mm -hmm. these popular diets. We know we hear about the paleo diet, the mm -hmm. intermittent fasting. Will you address each one of those and how does that work? I'll address each of those. So I plan to talk about paleo, um, keto, intermittent fasting, the Whole30 diet, and then a plant-based diet. And so with each of those, I'm going to give a little bit of information about them in general, and then some things about each diet that work and some things that might not work. The key is diets need to be individualized, and so there's so much variability in what people like, if they have food allergies or insensitivities, if it's going to work for them from a cost standpoint and from just a practical standpoint with their daily schedule. Um, and so then my hope at the kind of the second half of the talk will be to just give general tips that anybody can follow regardless of what kind of diet they're on. I think it's hard because if your, your friend loses 15 pounds on this diet, then right away we all want to try yes. that diet. And that isn't necessarily the right program maybe for me. Exactly. I always say the right program for you is going to be the one that works for you. And so sometimes it's trial and error and finding what your body responds to. Um, but once you find one that works for you, then if you stick to that, then a lot of these diets can really be successful. And I guess the best thing to do before you start any kind of program is always see your doctor first. Correct. Right? Yeah. And so again, the program is on Wednesday, March 11th. It's at 6.30 p.m. You do need to call and register for seating. So the number that you will call is 1-866-608-FIND or 608-FIND or 3463-3463. So feel free to give us a call because we know lots of folks are interested in this topic because I think January 1st, mm -hmm. everybody starts a new diet. Yeah. For me, I start one every Monday. <laughs> but I mean, it's probably a good time now to kind of regroup and see what mm -hmm. has been working, maybe what you can do in the future. Mm -hmm. Reset, exactly. Um, Any time is a good time to start a lifestyle change. I always think that we can incorporate little, small, sustainable tips that over time add up and end up with a better lifestyle versus just kind of going all into a diet that can kind of yo-yo and go back and forth. So, And this is something that it doesn't matter what your age. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is something that you can teach your children, but also you can age gracefully and age while eating well and exercising. Correct. Yes. I think that one thing about nutrition that is so important is we know that cardiovascular heart disease is the number one cause of death in Americans, men and women. And so all of the risk factors for cardiovascular disease are modifiable, meaning they're things that we can change based on the decisions we're making every single day, how we're eating and how we're active and things that we're avoiding that are maybe bad for us. Even our genetics to some degree are modifiable because we can, based on our nutrition, suppress or express certain genes that have been carried down to us, which is great news because yeah. it's motivating um, as far as our long-term health. But it's also, if you're eating well every single day, you just feel your best. Every cell in your body feeds off of the nutrition that you're giving it and so everything functions better when you're eating properly and you just have more energy and you're more productive at work and you get sick less lots of good benefits yeah and I was <laughs> gonna ask you for a good tip but I guess that's a really good one is just to eat well mm -hmm. every day and I usually emphasize like a plant strong diet so you hear plant-based diet 
I don't think that necessarily means that everybody needs to all of a sudden be a vegan um, because that can be very restrictive for people who are used to eating a certain way. But if you try to incorporate more plants and foods that actually look like their real whole source, more of those, less of the processed foods, then changing that ratio slowly over time can be hugely beneficial. So spend a little bit more time when you're grocery shopping in that fresh fruits and yes. fresh vegetables section. Mm -hmm. Shop the perimeter of the store. Always a good tip. Yes. Before I let you go, um, sports medicine. I think mm -hmm. for a lot of people, they think sports medicine is for athletes, kids who are playing sports, but really it's for all ages. It's for anybody. Yeah. Anybody who's active or even if they're not active and they have a joint pain or muscle ache, that's what we're here for. All right. Well, we look forward to hearing more from you. Again, it is on Wednesday, March 11th. It's at the Springboro Performing Arts Center. You do need to register in advance. Please call 1-866-608-FIND and we will see you at 630 in Springboro. Thanks so much, Dr. Thank Earl. Thank you. Thanks for watching. For more information, you can always visit our website, which is ci.springboro.oh.us. Thank you.